Hello my friends. So in our last videos, we've made the server and dialog flow API parts. So now it's time to make this client part. So we don't have this template right now. So first we are going to make this template. So in this video, we want to take care of this inside part. So we will just make this template and this input box. So to make this one, so first we go to our text editor in here. So now we deal with our front end and we come inside this app.js file and in here uh, first we will run our application by typing npm run that. The reason why we need to type it like this is if we go to the package.json in here. So if we use this dev scripts, so by using concurrently dependencies so we downloaded concurrently dependency here. So when we just type this one, we can start do npm run backend and npm run start together. So this one is for the node server and this one is for the front end server. So I type the npm run dev. So now we are inside our application. So if we come to app.js in here, so I'm going to change this one into hello and then save it. So this one becomes the hello from the chatbot. So I'm going to change it back into chatbot. So chatbot app. So we need to make uh, this template. So first we need to make this wrapper inside in here. But if we try to type everything inside in here, it will be very complicated. So first we will make one more folder only for this part. I'm going to name that folder chatbot. So in here, I will create the folder name chatbot. And uh, so I will change this B into small case chatbot and inside the chatbot I make the file name chatbot and js so I'm going to use the functional component so because I will use the react hook so first I need to import the react from react and then I make the function name chatbot and return here so we will make some template inside in here, chatbot. And we need to imp we need to export this function so we can use this one uh, inside a different file. Export default chatbot. So we are going to import that uh, component we just made, this chatbot. So import chatbot from chatbot and chatbot and then we put this one in here like this we go to our application here so now you can see this chatbot so if if we change this one into chatbot hello like this uh, this one change into chatbot hello as we typed in here so we will make the template in here. So first change this one to style. So now we made all of the template for here and then um, there is one more thing I want to do in this video is for this on key press event. So when we type something this event happens so we need to make the function for this event. So I will name it this one key press handler 
So I'm going to make this function in here. So event if e dot key uh, is equivalent to the uh, enter if uh, e dot target the value return alert. First, we want to send the message with type. So if we didn't type anything, uh, we need to alert with the text. So you need to type something first. After that, if we have some value inside the input, we will send a, we will send request to text query route. So we will type something in here. We will send the request into text query. So that's what we are doing in here. We will send request to text query route. After that, empty this input value uh, into empty string. So it target the value is empty string like this. So originally we need to make some function like text query and then we need to put this value inside in here because the, we need to send this text uh, into this dial flow louder so we can get this request body text. So we will send this text into the dialog flow. So we, will, we need to do like this, but we will make this text query function uh, in our next video. So first, so comment out this part and then save. So we just try to type something type something or if we don't type anything we have this alert pop up so so i want to do step by step so i pause the video in here so i will try to make this text query function in our next video so thank you for watching this video thank you